Razavan here for fighthype.com. Razavan, why go on? With me? Johnny Nelson. That's me. That's where I used to be. That's so Johnny. my name. How's your health? I know you had an operation. Last time I saw you on crutches. Yeah, yeah. It? It's all good. It's all good. The hips in the bin, so I don't know. I've got a new hip now. And so the, don't the talk to me about old thing. <laughs> Let's talk about the show today. Second show for Matchroom of the Year. Yeah. Headlined by Charlie Edwards. Uh, what do you make of his performance tonight? I think he boxed punch perfect. It's not very often you see the general public appreciating 12 rounds of boxing. Now, neither fighters were big punches, but it was like the bull and the matador, and Charlie Edwards got the job done. Fast, sharp timing. That uh, was, uh, was spot on. A bit of bravado at times, and this corner gave him a hard time trying to keep his backside, be himself. And uh, that's what he did do, and uh, he got the job done well deserved. And I know Andrew Selby's boxing number two in the world tonight, so maybe that could be a that's fight down the line. Um, so, yeah, see you later. Thank you. Um, uh, down the line. And uh, of course, he's thinking Cal Fai, that's also down the line. IPF, that's also down the line. So, they're all down the line, these fights that can be put in. Joshua Boatsy, Kofi. Ah, that's. Is he the real deal? Yeah, man, the boy I rate him. Uh, you know, and, and so we got to see what happens with him and Anthony Yard, and that's the only one this side of the world. This side of the world, I think, at this stage, can check uh, Joshua Boatsy. So we, we, we just don't know. We go and see. You talk about Anthony Yard. Is that fight? Can we wait for that fight? Can we wait yeah, for that we can fight wait for it. We can wait for it because they're still both talented individuals, and so they're fights that can be built up. We did it with Anthony Joshua and and, uh, and Dylan White, uh, and it can help with these two as well. It's a, it's a good fight. Lawrence Acoli. He takes a lot of stick, Lawrence, and I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for the boy because I used to be in the same position, you know, people say you're boring or whatever, and I'm feeling a lot of, not a lot of love for him inside the room, but and I'm saying, you know what, Lawrence has had, he's been boxing for two years. Look what he's well, achieved in two years. All right, it might not look pretty, but he gets the job done, and he takes man out, and, uh, and he's still learning. So you, you've got to give him a bit of breathing space and give him a bit of credit where credit's due. And, uh, it, and he's got the job done. Why did he get the hate? Is it the style? Is it his boxing style that... It's, just, it's the style. It's the style of fight and his confidence. And unfortunately, this country, we don't... If somebody says what they can do, you can do that. Talks about it with ease. They think you're being arrogant or big-headed or whatever. And, and I rate that. I like people owning this shit. And he owns this shit. He's, I can fight. I can knock you out. You know, and, uh, and, and it's not until he's at the top of the tree where nobody can doubt his arm there, the haters aren't there, that he, they've, got, they've got to shut up. So people come to see him win, some people come to see him lose, but at least they come to see him. But do you feel like to get to that kind of superstar pay-per-view type level where I'm guessing he wants to be, that style's important to please the fans? Please the fans, but you know what? Floyd Mayweather's not exciting to watch, but he's an absolute genius when it comes to boxing. So, so would you prefer to watch Floyd Mayweather or would you prefer to watch Mike Tyson? Bum, bum, bum. Unless you're a, a, a connoisseur of our sport and you love to watch the game, you love to watch the art. You know, so it's about what you like. What, and, and, and I'm not, I'm not measuring to Floyd Mayweather. What I'm saying is his style is not attractive, but he gets the job done. As long as he keeps winning, as long as he keeps getting rid of people, no matter what you think of his style, the boy is going to put himself on top. So you just keep winning, just keep getting the W. In other news, this week we've had, the last couple of weeks, we've had a lot of changes within the heavyweight division. Joshua, we've seen there we're fighting, he's fighting Miller. Cassie Fury's fight was announced today, that's what everyone thinks it was. Schwartz, yeah. Uh, German undefeated, yeah. uh, I think that's going to Vegas. Wilder and Brazil, press conference took place this week. I want to get your analysis and thoughts on Wilder's comments this week. You said a few comments in the past, but you obviously said this week. Just prepare your funeral to Brazil. Um, etc. etc. You obviously probably know what I'm talking about. What do you make of those comments, first of all? No, well, you, Deontay Wilder is one of the loudest, most outspoken heavyweights. So, so I, I rate Deontay because what Deontay is doing is he's putting himself on the map. So, like him, I love him. He's unbeaten. Like him, I love him. He's a world champion. Like him, I love him. He's getting the job done. Like him, I love him. All of a sudden, we're talking about what he said. And that's what it's about, he's trying to get eyes on the prize, look at him, he wants you to look at him and think, oh my god, can you believe what Deontay Wilder said? So all of a sudden the attention is on Deontay Wilder, you can't knock him, he's telling himself he's doing the job right. You can't knock him. You know, and, and nobody really means a lot of things that are said like that. Nobody really means it. Don't, you don't, he's a god fearing man, he don't mean to kill nobody. He's trying to talk the fight up, so you've got, come on, let's not, let's not get too PC. I wasn't saying, he, he obviously doesn't mean it, and obviously, no. he, he's obviously, Getting that energy from himself has been the fact. People remember that Mike Tyson also said some horrific stuff. He wants to eat people's kids. You know, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it at all. You know what I mean? So I understand where you are. You're in the heat of the moment. You say things, and it, it doesn't mean it literally. It means, you know what? 
I'm gonna hurt you. You know, you're getting in the room, in the room with me, I'm gonna hurt you. So uh, I don't think we should get gassed on. Just finally, the bell's gone. <laughs> Just finally. This is the second show, or third show of the year, third show of the year for Matchroom in the UK. You work for Sky. You're content with the content that you're seeing. Yeah, man. Sure, listen, all right, okay. I don't know where you're going with this. Now you're getting these big pay per view, pay, pay -per -view uh, uh, shows. You're getting the big shows on. We've got a show tonight, Charlie Lewis Top Nickel. Uh, Josh Watts is coming through. Uh, Lawrence Cole is coming through. Uh, 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 the fighters are coming through. You've got to build up stars. You can't all of a sudden put people on pay per view shows and think, oh my god, I'm going to pay enough money for them. You've got to build these people up. You've got to build them up so they get a following, they get a fan base. So, like it or not, Remember, when I fought for, you know, many other people fought, they were fighting the leisure centres and working men's clubs up and down the country to build up support. Now, now we're getting it in, 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 in stadiums and arenas. You know, we are spoiled. We're spoiled for choice. So, so when we get an opportunity to watch this, free of charge, support and, 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 and push the youngsters coming through, appreciate it. Don't knock it, don't hate it. But on, on that note, Johnny, though, but we look at 2016, 17, 18, boxing was booming in the heart. Yeah, we finished the year with Chisora White, pay per view. Yeah. We now turn over the year and yeah. we're looking at, we look at the, the boxing calendar the next six months, first six months of the year. Is there really big, big fight? A lot of our fighters in the UK are now fighting in the States. Yeah. Khan, uh, Crawler's going there, Kevin yeah. Smith is going there, Joshua's going there. Who are we kind of left with in the UK? Well, we've had a show tonight and there'll be more shows coming through. Again, it's about building up the youngsters coming through. I saw Eddie Hearn's interview this week uh, and he said that in order to have those big fights, you've got to push yours on heads. We got to, no, we, you know, in order to get those big fights here, the right fees may need to increase in the UK. Are we seeing almost a decline with Sky Sports and boxing? No, not at all. Not at all. It's about, it's, this, it's show business. And unfortunately, in our, in, our, in, our, in our game, business usually is the, is the bugger, not the show. So the fights are there, uh, the, the, the fights are available. Let the TV companies deal with that. Let's enjoy what we've got. Let's enjoy what we see. Let's enjoy you know, the talent that's, that this country's producing. And if you're a fan, some of the fans that benefit. So I, I, to me, I ain't bothered about what the, the, the big corporate companies are doing. I'm a fan as well as, well as the next fighter. That's what's important. I like to like to Give me opportunity. Join Nelson for fighthack.com. Peace. Thank you blah, 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 very blah, blah, much. Blah, blah, blah.